Hey YouTube, this is the Seattle Boat Guy. Today I'm going to show you how I installed a set of uh, speakers inside of my motorcycle helmet. These speakers will allow you to do things like listen to your radio through the headset instead of listening to it through the motorcycle speakers. Uh, this installation also comes with a microphone boom so you can do things like talk on the CB radio or talk to your passenger through the motorcycle's intercom system if you have one. I've got a Goldwing but this should work on uh, a variety of motorcycles. The headset I'm going to tell you about is the Elite 629 series helmet headset by J&M Corporation and I'm installing it into a Scorpion EXO 900 transformer helmet. First of all, a few gotchas that you should know about before you start. First of all, there's foam insulation inside of your helmet that you're going to have to remove partially in order to make room for the speakers. This insulation was put there for your safety by the manufacturers of the helmet. So I think you could make a strong case that by removing some of this installation, you're making your helmet less safe. The second thing you should know about is that as soon as you start removing insulation from your helmet, you void the warranty on your helmet. And the third thing you should probably know is that I think both uh, J&M Corporation and Wing Stuff and possibly some other sites will do this installation for you for a fee. But if you really, really, really want to do it yourself, like I did, here's how to do it. This is the tool you're going to mostly use to make room for the microphone and the headsets. Just a Brand X Dremel tool. And this is the bit you're going to use to remove most of the material you need to get out of the way. It's just kind of a router bit. And occasionally for some smoothing it's kind of nice to have one of these attachments. These are the main components. Here's little uh, speakers that fit into the helmet. The speakers are connected to this gizmo which also has the mic boom attachment. And this piece plugs into here. This is kind of a short piece. The end of this plugs into a piece of cable you'll have to purchase separately, which is this lower cable. In order to get this uh, main piece with the boom mic installed on the helmet, you're going to have to remove a fair amount of material to get it in there. All of this had to be removed with the Dremel tool in order to give this thing enough clearance to fit in there properly. It'll go in there and the microphone boom sticks out here. You're going to have to move, remove quite a bit of material from this side access area. Normally this piece goes all the way across here. You can see where it used to connect to this piece over here. Originally I just tried to remove a little bit of this piece, mostly up here, so there was a little hole for the unit to stick through. The problem I ran into is with that approach, what happened is that this bottom lower surface would be tight up against this thing. I mean like really tight. And it, as a matter of fact it was so tight that when you made this connection the two pieces just 
didn't go together well enough. And what I found is that I could only hear my radio on one of the speakers when I was all finished. And the reason is that this just wasn't seated all the way down in this thing because this surface was was hard up against the uh, helmet surface and so to get extra clearance to allow this a really good f fit all the way in I had to remove all of this stuff from this white inside plastic piece in this shot you can see the mic boom is kind of placed in here about where it ought to be it's sunk down in there pretty deep because it needs to be deep and on the outside is the piece that's going to connect to the cabling and this guy is now sticking up high enough so that this other piece has enough clearance to make a good contact and finally you need this little piece I had to use the Dremel to take out this much material in order to get this thing in there and finally you just snap this yellow piece into place and you're ready to start messing with the speakers now I had to remove a little over a half inch of material so the speakers would recess far enough that they wouldn't press against my ears when I was wearing the helmet. Once you get this routed out to the correct depth, uh, you can smooth out the area with some sandpaper and then you put in this velcro pad which comes with the J&M equipment it's sticky on the bottom of the pad so it just sticks to this white foam material that you smoothed out and the top surface is velcro and that will stick to the velcro on the headset on the bottom of the headset I don't really think it's necessary to to, to cut out these recesses the way I have this whole area is going to be covered up with the helmet padding so instead of cutting this stuff out like I did I think it'd be perfectly okay just to lay the speaker wire against this foam material and then put some electrical tape or duct tape or something to hold it in place and this is how the helmet looks with the electrical tape holding the speaker wires in place you can hardly even see it against that black background and there's the finished product and again this upper cable will connect to this lower cable and the other end of the lower cable will connect into the motorcycle 